Okay, so I'm recording now. Um, <clears throat> so someone who's very, uh, I'm going to call them, there is no such thing as a special person, but someone who's advanced, uh, there is no such thing as advanced, but let's say advanced in that the, the capacity for being in beingness in the infinite is quite, is very established. And uh, uh, there was an interaction with an individual uh, of someone who had a, a needy energy. And what came out was the words uh, when they tried to hook the person, it was not a person anyway, but tried to, you have to use languaging, tried to hook in um, the, the person, shall we say, for for languaging sake, the, the word no came out. <clears throat> um, now, um, and and maybe there might have been some thoughts later, maybe that was rude or something. So there's a lot to say on that. Um, there's a lot to say on that. Um, so in truth, um, in absolute truth, when every single belief is cleared out, there is no person, place, or situation which can disconnect one from the infinite. So, but however, I'd say that there are collective beliefs. There are collective belief systems within the collective ego of humanity. One of them is that there is such a thing as needy people who drain your energy. And uh, and uh, and that's true. While the belief is still in operation, uh, even if you get to advanced level, when you've got someone who's who's needy, like I want to, can I can I dump my feelings on you for three hours, and can we go out for tea on a regular basis? There is the experience because of the limiting belief that that is a, that is occurring, and even if you're in an advanced place, there is a feeling of a loss of energy. Uh, so that can be cleared. Uh, so on one level, I you know I could cancel my belief. Uh, this person can uh, siphon off my energy. I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind, and and that would occur. So that's one level. But sometimes for myself, I'll often just stay away from them. Uh, I'll try and be polite uh, in the way I do it, so tactical, so as not to create any significant bad feelings within them. Uh, not to be blunt, but I might be blunt, but hopefully I will try not to be. Uh, that doesn't make sense, but I'm just have to use languaging because in the infinite there is no person making any choice. But um, but I wouldn't want to. Uh, Hawkins really did it because as you go even into advanced states, sometimes you can get burnt that another person has been affected by the words or actions, and so then that is coming up even though you're in these infinite levels to clear that. Um, you know, uh, and to do the to do whatever work, whether it's the observer or a prayer, just to clear that another person, even though it's not real, within the illusion, has been, um, you know, is, you know, having a reaction to what has been said, um, um, and so, um, and that usually is then transcended, and it also creates um, release um, and a lot of clearing for for the collective. So there's that aspect as well. So if I, even if I'm in the state of being, and there's suddenly a, a, a twinge that was rude, um, and um, even though they're not real, I'm not real, and there is no such thing as rude at a certain level, but there is that, and it needs to be cleared or observed away, um, and that that will then uh, lead to more, shall we say, a deeper uh, leveling of the infinite, even though that doesn't make sense. So I would say, and that's what Hawkins experienced, even in the infinite fields, there'd be sharp, sharp pain sometimes if something was done, even of, of infinitesimally, infinitesimally small error was made, there would be a sharp pain in the aura, and you'd have to clear that to get to even to be in the infinite at, at a more deeper level. Uh, so there's, there's that. So um, yeah, so even if I felt I was in the infinite the whole day, in that that place of nothingness or silence um if after an interaction it seemed like a person might have been hurt or wounded um and there's a feeling of something uh, not quite right then i would clear that it might not mean anything about talking to that person ever again but i'd clear that energy within myself through the witness sir or through prayer um and and that would lead to uh, further uh, further involvement into into the infinite so uh that's uh how i would you know just because you know like in 12 steps we make a verbal amend like hey 
you know what I said to you last week that was inappropriate I know uh, and it was rude I'm sorry but I don't necessarily say that you have to do that as a 12 steps but I do feel it needs to be cleared energetically if anything felt that one's actions were um, harmful to others uh, you know through whatever prayer or witnessing uh, clearing okay that's just my view 